I am so excited. I know I say this all the time, but I literally am so excited about this package. You know what? If it's a crime to be excited about makeup, take me away. Don't actually, I have too much to do. I don't have time for that. But anyway, hi, hello. I got an exciting package of something that I ordered recently. And I have to say, there are some spring launches that I'm very excited for. I'm not usually a spring makeup type of person though. And it's because they usually do collections that are like, here's a light wash of beige and pink. And I'm like, okay. And but this, this was cute. Also, there were fairies involved, so you know I'm down. Yeah, I did get the Lunar Beauty launch. Mm-hmm, yes, and there's a couple reasons. Number one, the palette looked gorgeous. Number two, the highlight palette I don't think I could be without, and I already missed, like, when Lunar did, like, when Manny had those highlights before. I did not get any of those. I did not, I don't know what happened. I just missed the boat on that, I guess, but um, this highlight palette, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna let that pass me up, and then the glosses. If you've heard me talk about Lunar Beauty glosses before, you know that they are one of my favorite all-time favorite favorite glosses they are supreme they are literally so good I could I could talk about them for like half an hour at minimum anyway so when I saw that they were doing glosses highlight and that palette I was like okay 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 so this is the entire bundle <laughs> oh yeah oh look at that that is literally so stunning okay so it includes all of the details on the back for the entire collection <gasps> this packaging looks so cute seriously that is so cute that's adorable i love that yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh oh <gasps> yeah yup yup immediately i actually need to use this immediately i think the packaging is the same on the inside but there might be a moon if i recall correctly <gasps> yup oh my gosh that's so cute oh and the little moon like having the it's it's embossed or like it's raised come on that is so cute i'm obsessed with that packaging okay <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> yeah Mm -hmm. Now here's the plot twist. This is what you're not going to expect. I am excited about the yellows in here. I know. I am clutching my chained choker. I can't explain it. I really can't. I don't know what it is. I, I, I have no explanation. The shimmers, I feel like I already know are going to be fantastic because they have been in the other palettes that I've tried from Lunar Beauty. This teal, olive, and the lilac situation, yeah. Here's another view just like at the shades. They're really, really pretty. It's almost like a moodier like spring release though, in my opinion, which is why I'm excited about this because I, I don't think honestly I would be that interested if this palette did not include those because my style, the way that I kind of like to wear makeup usually includes some darker, some more grungier, more like that kind of shade. So to have both of these and that row of shimmers, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, anyway, I too am shocked, but I'm legitimately starting off with the yellow so this is honeysuckle yeah that's freaking cute <laughs> i really i don't know i don't know what's gotten into me but i absolutely do that's really pretty actually <laughs> i have to say the little embossed fairy is a nice touch as well like the little fairy like pressed into the palette there's fairy and mushroom like that's just this is freaking cute this is a really cute cute collection into that into that shade shockingly just for context too, I don't think that this would be a bad shade. I just, yellow is usually not a color that I go for with makeup just in general. It's changed a little bit. Some things have happened, but yellow was always the shade that I kind of avoided in makeup. Dang, this meadow shade looks very interesting. This one right here, it looks like, I don't know, it does look kind of like a grungy yellow tone. And I need to know. Ooh, ooh, it's kind of like yellowy green like a little bit of a greenish yellow or something Ooh, i like that color i like that color i'm curious about this shade this fuzzy foot shade because it kind of looks like it would be a warm kind of purpley brown I'm just gonna take this out here yeah Ooh, happy to see that in the palette honestly Ooh, ooh it's kind of purpley i almost wish i would have taken weeping willow down first but i'm gonna add weeping willow on top of that so that's this shade it's like the greenish one so i'm gonna layer those two and hopefully it doesn't get weird Ooh, yeah 
Oh, I like that color a lot. Put that in the crease a little bit and kind of blend it upwards. So there's a bit more green. Ooh, ooh, it's kind of like smoking it out. Okay, okay. There is a bit of a skip happening and I'm just gonna go ahead and call it out because it very well could be the primer that I use. I've really not been happy with the primer, like eye primer specific products that I've had. And I'm kicking myself now because I have been priming, like priming my eyes with cream shadow and today's the day I didn't. And I don't know if that's because of that but we're moving on. I am going to prime my lower lashes just with the cream shadow and this is always what I've been doing lately and it's looked so good if I do say so myself. I'm gonna take a little bit of Toad and then this shade over here which is Chocolate Truffle. So I'll start with Toad and kind of run it along the entirety of the lower lash. That's cute. That's a cute little shade. And then Chocolate Truffle. Hopefully for a little more oomph. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna take a little bit of meadow underneath, like even lower, and blend it out, buff it out even lower, because I want it to be really smoky, really grungy. Just kind of taking it up too. Yeah. A little bit of toad, a little more meadow. Yeah, wow. I really, really like those two shades, especially for like smoking out the lower lash line. It's a it's a very small detail, like taking a fluffier brush and smoking out the lower lash line even further, but it is so good, dude. Oh my God, love that. Now for the shimmer. I wanna try all of them immediately. Firefox though. <sighs> Firefox is like the warm, it kind of looks like coppery, like reddish. I just, I, I can't not use it. What? <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So I'm gonna put that on the lid right here. I need more. I need, I need more. That's cute. I need more though. How can I how can I pick up more? My nails are long right now, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I will be going through this. That's cute. That's freaking cute. These shimmers are really pretty. They give like metallic vibes. I guess like this one specifically does. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm into this. I did not think this yellow also. I'm still like, I keep bringing this higher and higher, this honeysuckle shade. I need to like check my temperature. What do you mean I'm excited about a yellow shadow? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here's the finished look with the eyeshadow, the highlight, and the lip. Let me know what you want to see. Not a lot of spring launches get my attention or, most importantly, are launches that I would use products of every single day. I can't believe I'm this excited about, like, those yellow tones. I am going to wear these shadows with, like, the priming situation that I usually do, of course, to test them further. I need to use that teal, like, immediately. I don't know if this is limited edition, but I'm just saying right now, the gloss. I'm already stressed and I think I need to get back. Backups. But yeah, I'm just very happy with this. I actually am surprised at how much I like this. Let me know what you think about this look and the collection. I would love to hear your thoughts. Manny, congrats on this launch again. Like, I just feel like these curated, like, very intentional launches, I really appreciate. I don't know. I feel like when you can tell that there's thought or, like, inspiration, whether it be, like, the documentary by the mushrooms or whatever it may be, like, in a collection, I love seeing that. Like, it feels less overwhelming and less just, like, we're throwing a bunch of products at you and more, like, here is the collection and here's the inspiration and also there's a little fairy sitting on the moon love of course lunar beauty is cruelty free because if it is on my page it is cruelty free so we love to see that anyway let me know your thoughts thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching follow me for more makeup and beauty content and i will catch you in the next video bye my god i love makeup